For most people, robots are scary movie monsters. In South Africa and Congo, they are traffic lights. In Rwanda, they take on the form of the country's most renowned wildlife to give directions. Let's shift it to English. Eh? Standing at three feet tall and weighing 21 kilograms, this gorilla robot will give you directions to the lost and found in the streets of Kigali, Rwanda's capital. All one needs to do is ask. Hey. It can help to direct people, and of course it can also tell customers about the products which are in the market, and it can also direct someone to different locations. This innovation is a brainchild of Chuda Susa. Because of how fast Kigali is growing, Chuda was inspired to create the robot to help visitors who have not seen the city for a while. You ask the gorilla. That's, that's, our, that's our motive. Ask the gorilla. If you want to go somewhere, if you want to get a bus, like say, I'm going to Remera, I'm going to Nyarutarama, you ask the gorilla, where can I get the bus? How, at how much? And you will know how much they will charge you from the gorilla. The gorilla will tell you. The 35-year-old wanted to take a course that could provide hands-on skills. Luckily, he did. Through a scholarship, he studied computer science at the National University of Rwanda. With capital of 1,000 US dollars, he started Chuda, an ICT company in 2008. The firm offers technology solutions for city and upcountry clients. We innovate because we want to make uh, technologies and uh, services which are affordable. And again, we look also for sustainability. If we create or if we innovate, we look for sustainable solutions for our customers and for our people. Years after starting the Chude farm, he created the first prototype in 2013. The Gorilla robot is made of sackcloth. It is painted black. Uh, these, uh, the insides comprise of an engine powered by a computer, computer. with sound systems is, that uh, enable uh, interaction. We have uh, other these devices connected to it. With cameras in its eyes and speakers in its mouth, the Gorilla robot has person detection sensors. Connectivity is via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It is programmed to understand English, French and Kenya Rwanda. Besides giving directions, the gorilla can also be used as a receptionist and security guard. This is the first version of the robot. Services at the moment are free for test purposes. Chuda is currently in talks with the government. He is seeking support and permission to deploy the robots all over Rwanda. If you calculate how many minutes do we have per day and how many minutes someone just who is looking for information can spend with our gorilla, that's the minim, uh, uh, an average of three minutes. So with the average of three minutes, someone can pay 100, 100 francs to the gorilla. In addition to the gorilla robot, Chuda has created a platform in Nyungu to help farmers market their produce. <laughs> The father of three employs 17 workers. Rwanda is ranked number one in Africa and 19th in the world ahead of the US, France and South Korea in a World Economic Forum Index for political and regulatory environment helping ICT business development and penetration. South Africa ranked number two. Rwanda runs on, 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 on uh, a government policy outline called the Vision 2020 which was started in, 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 in 2000. And one of the pillars of achieving that uh, vision is ICT. And in that vision is what we call the NICI plan, the National Information Communication Infrastructure Plan, which is a 20-year, four-pillar plan, of five years each, uh, that is aimed at uh, <coughs> making uh, Rwanda, uh, an information-driven society, 
but <clears throat> and, and that is supposed to achieve uh, a common goal where uh, the country gets the citizens from poverty and sets the country to a middle income country. The gorilla robot is the first of its kind in Rwanda. Pretty soon, Ask the Gorilla may become as common in Rwanda as Google it.